Welcome there, this is Leo with Digital Track, bringing you the small local business owners here in Solano County, uh, the latest strategies and updates about uh, digital advertising and marketing so that you can increase your online exposure and obviously have more customers find you this way. So let's go ahead and get started. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about Google Maps for small businesses, everything you need to know to get found by more customers. This is a, um, I'm going to be talking about this article that I found from Manta.com. You can definitely Google it. Uh, I'm going to be sharing the uh, link to it uh, in the description section, wherever you're watching this, if you're on YouTube, Facebook, um, or my channel, my website. And and that way you can actually go and review it and read it if, if, if you prefer to do that as opposed to watching my video. Uh, so, okay, so a simple listing of your business info on Google Maps can direct customers straight to your door. Here's what you need to know to put your business on the map. It's easier than ever for people searching for products and services online to find and connect with local businesses thanks to Google Maps. Think about this. Before, you know, you used to go into the newspaper or the a magazine that goes out or the local yellow pages to actually go and find something, right? Uh, obviously, most of the time, those uh, things were not um, with the reach, within the reach of our hands. They probably had to go to the kitchen or somewhere else around your house. But what are we carrying nowadays that is all the time with us or all the time? It's our, our cell phones, right? Our cell phones are um, an answer to a lot of different questions that we may have. So. That is why it's important that we understand what it's saying here. It is easier than ever for people searching for products and services online to find and connect with your local business. Uh, whether using desktop com computers or smartphones, your potential customers are just one click away from your business hours, address, phone, and more information, and they can get directions right to your front door. How Google Maps works. So I'm sure you've seen this, right? So for I'm sure you've probably seen this. Like if I'm find, I'm trying to find for uh, Mexican food in Fairfield. I'm sure you've probably seen something like this, right? You got your your Google Map, and uh, I'm talking about Google Maps because uh, Google is one as the number one search browser. So when more likely, a lot of people has this as a default when they were defining something. Uh, the Google is what is uh, they will use. Uh, to actually find some for something online. So that's why we stress about Google Map. Um, so let's see how Google Maps works. Chances you got you chances are you've used Google Map mapping service to find a business near you just like I just did over here. Whether you realize it or not. For example, a simple Google search of the word breakfast doesn't return as the top results a Wikipedia article with the definition and history of breakfast. This result will now show up further down in the search results page. Instead, your Google search for breakfast will show a map with pin locations of nearby diners below, which will be description of each din diner and link to each restaurant's Google Map, Google My Business listing. The most popular breakfast restaurants will be uh, the top three listed on the Google search results, which is what we see here. So for example, let's do the, let's do uh, what they're saying. Let's say the search for breakfast. Uh, oh, sorry, I was in the Google map area. So breakfast, did I spell, spell that right? <laughs> breakfast, breakfast, okay. Breakfast. So as you can see here, uh, the first thing that comes up is the Google map, the listing that they mentioned, right? The Google, uh, my business listing uh, right here of the three popular ones. And um, you notice how important this is. Google knows my location because I've turned them on. And so these three restaurants over here are specifically being listed because of my location. Um, these are the closest to me that uh, that serve breakfast, so that's why they're listed. Um, uh, 
that's why Google creates that experience for me, right? To show me these three for you may be different, even if you live in the same city that I do. Uh, there is, again, the reason why is because of the distance, if you have uh, uh, location services <laughs> enabled. Um, so yeah, as you can see there, uh, this is the first thing that comes up, just like the article said. Um, then some Yelp, TripAdvisor, and Wikipedia there at the bottom. Not to, at the bottom completely, but yeah, towards the middle of the page. Um, whether you are on a smartphone or computer, you'll see a brief profile of each of these businesses and a map that can use to navigate to them, that you can use to navigate to them. Depending on how much uh, information these businesses have added to their Google My Business profile, you may see a lot of more details on photos. Customers even search for business businesses directly in Google Maps app on their smartphone. I know I do this a lot. I go to this uh, Google Map and if I'm really hungry and, and feel like a burger, I just type in Google Burger, right? And obviously the results will come up from around my city or the city where I am in regards to burgers. So, and then I just go through the list, see which one uh, find, see, see, looks more appealing. Uh, on top of that, obviously, uh, taking consideration the distance, uh, pricing, of course, and, and reviews. Um, but that's just what I do, right? Thanks to location-based search, small businesses have better odds at standing in search results without spending a ton of money. If you're trying to uh, or reach nearby customer, if you're trying to reach nearby customers, this is your chance to be the big guys at the digital marketing game, right? Because you are local, you are closer to your customers. I mean, you saw over here, right? You know, we have a big one, uh, Taco Bell, but at the same time, I have two local uh, businesses that comes up in the search results as opposed to other one over here is Burger King, right? And there's some other ones around the area. I have very close McDonald's, and other big boys over here, but thanks to the location, right, uh, these other ones are given to me as an option uh, to local businesses. Now, obviously, I don't like Taco Bell, so definitely I'm going to consider this over Taco Bell. Um, utilizing Google Maps, the search focuses on only local searches. Uh, this means that small businesses have a greater chance to be seen, said Anne. Ogun, a digital marketing consultant for Netmark, an Idaho-based digital marketing agency that specializes in small local businesses. For brick and mortar storefronts, being found on Google Maps is vital to get new customers coming through the door, said Ogun again. Not only does Google Maps bring new customers, but it provides free SEO. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization and digital marketing for your businesses. So search engine optimization, a, a lot of the uh, nationwide or international companies, they actually spend a lot of money into writing and because how important it is for them to invest into um, information that will be put online that will stay there forever until somebody breaks it down. But what happens is they don't, that is another way for them to continue to attract people to their brand or to the business to get raise awareness uh, without having to continue to invest money, okay? They put out content, they invested in the content, but then that stayed there, continue to bring customers to them for the rest of the time as opposed to continue to advertise. Now, both ways are great, right? You have uh, advertising is obviously more intentional, so uh, you get faster results as opposed to uh, investing into long form content that provides search engine optimization, uh, that typically is, is a longer game, right? You're talking about uh, six months and over when actually you start getting more and more traction. A great person on that is uh, Neil Patel. You should read a little bit about Neil Patel. Um, and if you notice there, his blogs, Neil Patel blog, you'll see that um, he gets, um, he gets millions of visitors. Neil Patel blog visitors. Mm, not sure if there's any stats here, but I just recently listened to a podcast where they were saying, yeah, there's like almost two billions a month 
of visitors of a of a written words that he does so he invests, he invests a lot of money but because obviously see how to generate one million seven hundred two hundred forty so this is his numbers actually um and if you go to let's see if this is one of the uh, great examples no um, but let's see if he has the long content over here. I recover your DIY Facebook traffic. That's a video. That's a video. How to build links when no one will link to you. And if you notice, he invests a lot of money on this. But look at the content. It's so much. Um, such a long content. And again, it, it, it's, it has a purpose. Each of all of these words is basically he's using it. He's using it to. Um, be able to rank high whenever people are looking for specific stuff related to marketing, uh, he be more likely up up there. Um, I know he ranks pretty high on a keywords. I can't remember what is this. If it's SEO, um, let's see if, if I search for SEO. Um, so that's very generic SEO. Content. I, I don't know. This, there's a, a keyword that he ranks pretty high, but you, you notice there, you saw there how how um, much he invests in and how long his content is uh, or are. But anyway, anyways, we are. I'm uh, going out of out of um, what I was talking over here. Let's go back. Simply put, a Google Maps listing is money in the bank for a local business. How does Google Maps get business information? When you type a word into the search bar, Google takes a number of factors into account when delivering results. With the rise of a smartphone and voice-enabled search technology like Siri or Alexa, and those of you, those of you that don't know, Alexa is a Amazon product, right? Basically, it is a speaker that sits at your home. You see this little device here, Echo. Uh, Echo, these devices over here is, are made by Amazon, but this program itself that listens to you and, and responds to you is called Alexa, right? And obviously, it's basically like uh, on my phone, it's a Google phone, and so I have Google over here with me, uh, Google Assistant, and I can ask some, some, something like, hey, Google, what's the weather like today? And it provides me results. Free and clear. See, it talks to you right back. Now, it's 62 and clear. And it talks to you back. It, it gives you some information about the uh, things that you may ask, right? If you want to know the score about your favorite team, if you want to uh, know what the weather would be like tomorrow, you can ask questions like that. And so this is what kind of Alexa and uh, uh, Siri devices do. Uh, location information is a key data point that Google uses to provide people with the most relevant search results. Information about your location and the location of businesses near you are the reason that um, Bob Evans, Waffle House, and local diners show up at the top of your screen and the Wikipedia article on breakfast near the bottom. Thanks to all of the knowledge Google has about when and why we search for certain things, Google algorithm knows you are more likely searching for breakfast because you want to find a restaurant nearby as opposed to uh, the actual meaning or history about this too or about breakfast. You see the example here in the um, right side of the article right about the Waffle House business listing on Google. To, to capitalize on this, the restaurants in your town will have claim or added their business information to Google Maps using Google My Business. For example, here's how a local Waffle House listing looks when it shows up on Google Maps, right? It has uh, reviews, it has uh, the name, it has the website directions, um, uh, directions over here again, hours, uh, website, phone number, um, and then some other information. Watch uh, the listing has everything customer needs to buy breakfast from the local Waffle House chain location, hours of operation, busy times. Yeah, this is uh, something that is I use uh, quite often, right? What, what are the times that a restaurant is more is, is busier, especially if I don't know the restaurant or the location and customer review. This is obviously something else I do a lot to see the customer reviews. 
why should my business have a Google Maps listing? You already have a website and a Facebook profile. Does your company really need to worry about having a profile on Google Maps too? Yes, definitely, without a doubt, yes. And guess what? If you don't worry about creating a profile on Google, somebody else will go ahead and do it. <laughs> Simple. So instead of having somebody else going and do, do it and running the risk of that person providing the, right, the wrong information about your business and damaging more than helping you, you want to take control of that as a business owner, actually do it yourself or have somebody do it for you. Google Maps allows users to find your business for relevant searches for your brand and business category and engage with the business without even visiting your website, said Lincoln. Um, that helps company manage their search ranking and online reputations. The direct connections that customers can make to your company through Google Maps effectively eliminates the middleman between their searches and generating a lead for your business. Remember, instead of visiting your website to get more information, customers can click on your Google Maps profile and navigate right to your door, right? Uh, they can also click to call you directly, see your business hours, and read customer review. I, I do that a lot. If, I, if I'm looking for something like a breakfast, for example, I, I, I don't go too much to their website. I go mainly to their Google profile or, or Yelp profile and stuff like that instead of actually going to um, see in the website what, the, what it's like because it doesn't have as much information that I'm looking for uh, in the website, like, for example, reviews. Right. Or, for example, um, this is about to die. So I'm going to go ahead and charge this real quick. I'm going to walk with you guys. Yeah, for example, the website may not have. Right. Because it, it, it takes a lot to invest into all of that. Um, uh, web, uh, be, be, be constantly having to update your website with information like pictures or um, reviews about your customers. Right. Typically. People that do that on a website, although your website can have a component like that, but again, it takes maintenance. Uh, but then you have other, other sites that are free that handles it for you, like Google or Yelp, right? They, they have they, they have pictures of you, your business, that other people share or you share. Uh, they host the, the reviews for you, uh, and then they host all the rest of the information for you, right? Like... Um, uh, 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 business hours, phone number, right, address, th things that you are critical to you as a restaurant. You want people to come to your location, and so um, just having this information here helps, and I don't need to go to their website a lot of the times. If you are in a competitive niche market, Ryan Harkashans, that your competitors are likely already active on Google Maps. Another reason you should claim or add a business to Google My Business, add your business to Google My Business and manage your Google Maps profile is because if you don't, what I mentioned earlier, someone else might, okay? I, I mentioned that because obviously it's something that I see a lot um, with customers that I work with here in the Solano County area. If you do not have maps activated and verified, you do not have as much ability to control your business information online. Users or Google itself could create a listing for you if you do not have one. And so this is something that I work with my clients, right? To make sure that they have um, the foundation at least, right? The first thing that we do is we see how uh, much information is online for them. Like, for example, I, I, I was working recently with um, Nituma Brothers Press Control, a press control company that just started uh, early this year. They've been, uh, he's been getting busy, right? And he's been getting reached out by companies. And so he felt the need that he needed to start building a foundation online, right? Obviously, a lot of the businesses, brick and mortar, the, the main foundation is to actually have a storefront. Um, so think of uh, having a business list, your business listed online as that foundation, right? The storefront. And so uh, this person, that's why they felt the need. Obviously, they don't have a physical location. So his physical location for him, so to speak, right, is basically having this, it's starting to invest in 
more into having a strong online presence for um because he, he personally felt that he was uh look more professional and the same will you will feel if you had a restaurant right um you will feel more professional because typically in in our mind that's the norm to actually go to a location sit down uh it brings credibility right as opposed to go let's say to your house plus obviously um i doubt you can get a license for that here in california to, to have a restaurant in your, in your house um but uh that's the intention that he had right to actually look more professional by actually having an online presence since he doesn't have a storefront um so take the proactive approach and join your competition on Google Maps. Using Google My Business to show up on Google Maps, Google Maps is a great way for businesses to connect with new customers. These steps for the steps for success with Google Maps are simple. Owner of Vancouver, blah, 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 which serves businesses, step one for Google Maps success is to create a profile on Google My Business, he said. So you can definitely just Google uh, Google my business and the result will come up and reference uh, you setting up um, your profile right you can either add a profile or claim it either your business listing etc so I have a agency type of profile for Google my business let's see if I can if I have it open somewhere in my windows okay right here have it open right here got so many windows open right now um, and so right now I have El Caracol, but let's see, Google My Business. Uh, the agency style, this is what um, allows you to do. I'm not sure if I have an agency style, but basically I have multiple locations that I monitor and manage, right? So um, this is kind of what it's going to look like. And if you go to a specific location, um, it got... Uh, enhance in my opinion in reference to what it looked to be before um, and, as you can see you have different things that it kind of looks it makes it look like any other uh, social media profile right you have your uh, post nowadays where you can create over here you can create your you can actually post stuff about um, uh, events or special offers you may have going on you can go into info where you can edit all your information inside to, to kind of see some analytics review to actually check your reviews um, messaging uh, I think this is for let customers message you, message you. Um, I don't have a chat number we don't have a chat number for here but this is something neat uh, to actually use like for example a whatsapp uh, or something that phone number that you can create for customer service that's great So that was a little bit of you about Google My Business. Let's see what it says here. Uh, so first step one is obviously make sure that you create a profile on Google My Business. Next, make sure your business information is accurate and consistent. Uh, this means making sure that your Google My Business listing has the same company address, local telephone number, hours of operation, and descriptive information about your products and services as are listed as your in your website and all other online directories where your business info appears. So one thing I like doing is I like to creating a uh, template, a, a Word document. Um, however, right, I like to keep it digital. So obviously I create a Word document. And what I do is I obviously I, I save all this information, name of the business, address, hours of operation, um, phone number, website, and other information, the about section, and I do that because then I can take that information and uh, just basically have a store, number one, for reference in fu for, for the future that can help uh, either other employees or agencies that, that we may work with, right? And number two is because I can use that template in all the other business listing that we have for a specific business, right? Like, for example, we're going to use this information on Yelp. Uh, TripAdvisor, uh, Google My Business, Facebook, um, etc. Right, all these places where we want to be listed, we we have a template to go by, so we don't are not always constantly thinking like, oh, what, what was this information? Let me go ahead and find it, uh, or or what is it that I need to put here? Let me rewrite everything again. No, it's all in a template already. Makes the life easier, and um, 
next time there's changes to be made, all we had to do is basically copy and paste all that information through all the different uh, locations that we have the, or businesses listed. Hope this information is great so far for you. Uh, using your local area code rather than a toll-free number signals your locality to Google. So I've seen a lot, a lot of businesses going away from local free numbers, mostly big companies still using that. Local businesses are great to continue to, to, to have a local phone number for that reason, right? It, it, uh, um, it, it helps Google to uh, identify that's a local business within that area. A consistent information between your Google My Business profile and your website or Facebook page will signal to Google that your business info is unreliable. That is very bad for your search engine rankings, so make it consistent, accurate information a priority. And that's the reason why I mentioned again the template where I put the information and I just use the same information throughout all different pages that we have, uh, specific business that we work with listed online so that we don't do that, right? So that we keep that consistency. To test the consistency and accurate accuracy of your business information and see what customers see when they search for you. So there's a man tab, you can do that free search report. You can also go to my website, right? If you wanna deal with somebody local, you can just go to uh, digitaltrack.co. Um, I do a special, a, a free report for you. Um, obviously mine will take some time because obviously I don't have everything automated, but you can provide me the information and obviously if you prefer that one-on-one -on -one type of meeting settings, uh, I'm here, I'm local in Solano County and definitely can uh, help you with providing more information. But if you just want to uh, do it yourself, go to sites like mantat.com or um, uh, yext.com. The final step to building an attention-grabbing Google Maps profile is to add profile photos. Very important because especially if you're a restaurant, people will... I, I love to see photos and the more photos, the better about their food, right? Make, make me fall in love about your food with pictures even before even trying it, okay? Um, a logo, of course, and solicit satisfied customer reviews. Yes, of course. Encourage happy customers to write your Google review on your Google My Business profile. Give your customers a direct link to make it easier on them. So how to improve your Google Maps ranking? Once your company's Google, Map business, Google My Business profile is online, you'll want to focus on helping your business rise to the top of Google Maps results. What it all comes down to is getting in the local three pack. And I made another video for, of this before, right? Um, based on an article and this other video. Um, so if you have any questions, how to get to that video, definitely feel free to check it out. I'm gonna try to link it there in the description section. So the top three local results display on Google search results. Um, to earn a place in the top Google Maps ranking, a local business should have a completed profile, which includes the following. Hours of operations, website URL, phone number, business category, logo, and cover photo. And again, this is, I, I'm gonna go refer back to the template, Word document, you know, something, whatever you want to, a notepad, whatever. Have those categories there listed um, so that you don't forget to complete something. You'll have all that information there listed. It quickly remind you whenever you're starting a new profile in another site that, okay, these are the areas, the areas that I know we need to cover uh, because we are using, because we, we are listing all this information already in other places. So let's stick to that, okay? Logo, cover photo, same. Save those on your local uh drive or in the cloud, however, but make sure it's accessible whenever you completing all these profiles online so that you can continue to use the same cover photos and logos. Photo of the inside and outside of business, along with product photos, work remarkably well at attracting customers. Uh, it, it basically, uh, the more pictures, the better. Having customers upload pictures helps too. It basically helps them people visualize the experience within your, within your business even before getting there. 
uh, using listing sites to improve Google Maps ranking. In addition to an optimized Google Maps, Google My Business profile, your company's listing on other websites will help boost your Google Maps ranking. Yes, this is important. It helps them. It helps Google find information or grab information from other popular websites uh, and match it with their own information to actually uh, form an accurate and verification of your business. Um, by claiming or adding your company listing on online business directories, you improve your ranking on Google. This is called. This is a tactic called authority optimization. And I think I made another video reference to what places you want to be listed. Uh, if not, go ahead and uh, shoot me a message on social media or text me 707-410-0307. I can grab your information, submit it uh, for um, review and find uh, data or information about, you know, how's your business looking like in reference to having a um, uh, doing an authority optimization, right, to make sure as how does it look, right? Does it look the same all across the different websites um, that are very popular? And does it, does it have information that is missing? Uh, should we actually go and create a profile on a popular website that perhaps you don't have one, etc.? cetera? Uh, repetition in this matter, matter is vital. Ensuring that your business details are syndicated in various directory sites, as well as having a healthy mix of reviews from multiple platforms, you have the head start to get your business ranked well on Google Maps. And that's something that, you know, I see it over and over again with businesses that work here locally. This is another location that I set up their profile, Cindy Beauty Care. They didn't have nothing either at all. Uh, as a matter of fact, their competitor was coming up. And so all you have to do is we work on, on this and the more information that uh, you put in, the more the business is listed in multiple different locations, the more the results will come up on online reference to that specific business. So for example, um, they didn't have nothing at all before, right? But um, the competitor request coming up. So that was obviously a, uh, that was, hurting the business a lot that imagine your competitor on the other side of town coming up as opposed to your business. Obviously, uh, most people will probably ended up going to the other location and actually becoming loyal customers from the other location instead of uh, becoming loyal customers of your location. So, but if you can see here, when we do City Beauty Care uh, search, um, you still have this one right on top. Um, it's an IT agent company, um, but as you can see, it has a more more uh, listing now for that specific business as opposed to having uh, uh, nothing at all or the competitor coming up uh, in, in your business nowhere to be found. So they have the little Google My Business profile now here. They have the second listing by Yelp. This is a competitor. Then they have the website listed here. Um, they have the Facebook pages, Facebook profiles, um, uh, MapQuest, and um, um, mu multiple listing as opposed to not having anything. Uh, again, this is a place that started with nothing uh, as well, just like the other one that I showed me to my brothers. Um, so the value of listing sites as a marketing tool for your small business cannot be underestimated. Your Google My Business listing, because it determines how your company company appears on Google Maps and in Google searches, is arguably the most important listing site you can use. Um, I, I, and again, this is because it's so important it's because this, you're building the, your, the foundation of your online presence for your business, just like when you open a storefront, is that's the, the, the foundation of your business, right? You open your doors and you're like, okay, I'm open for business. So the same thing is when you do this online listing, um, it's, it's the same thing for your business, uh, but an on, online version, right? Uh, one of the most recent clients I work with, okay. Uh -huh. So this person worked with the client, right? It says over here, he worked with the client that was really struggling to get new customers coming in. 
And after some work on his site and helping him to build and claim his Google My Business profile, we were able to double the amount of traffic that he got only in a few weeks. Another thing that really helped her client gain more visibility was getting more Google reviews from his previous satisfied customers. Uh, getting Google reviews will encourage customers to read more about your business and if you have a good set of reviews versus a competitor who has none, you will likely be the winning choice. So what are customers saying? Uh, how reviews help improve your rank on Google Maps? The best and most effective way to get your business to rank higher on Google Maps is to get more reviews than your competition and to respond to all of those reviews. Um, and that's something that I do with my customers. I make sure that I help them um, get their uh, reviews answered or at least make them aware, right? If I don't know the answer, I gotta check with them to see how to, uh, how to approach a situation, okay? Um, so, <clears throat> It is a value that they feel that because a lot of times they don't want to be dealing with uh, having to read stuff about online, especially if it's, if it's negative stuff. Obviously, um, I wouldn't be able to work with businesses that have a lot of negative stuff because they will not last a lot. But as a business owner, what, the, what I experienced with them, working with them, is that the, they could be great, doing great. They could have multiple great reviews, but one review will totally affect their um, uh, the state of mind and so obviously that's one of the reasons why they don't want to deal with anything at all they let somebody else do it like myself um, so that um, they can have a more of a peace of mind especially with everything that is already going on at the restaurant uh, the, all the chaos that goes on there right why add, why add more stress to your life uh, by actually having to see it online as well. Obviously, you want to keep an eye. You're, you're the owner, um, but you don't have to be in the day in and day out of that specific setup if that's not what you want to do, right? Obviously, if you think it's being in the kitchen, that's what you like to do, then stay there. Um, but obviously, the business that I work with recognize that even this add more headache, they still need it, right? They still need to have an online presence so people to find them because that's they see the future. The future is the internet. Actually, the internet is now. It's been here for a while and it's just reinforcing to uh, continue to stay here uh, for many, many more years to come and just to um, continue to improve on it. Google Maps helps our business by putting project build to the top in search results. Uh, this sets up nicely to get more quotes every month. He added the positive customer review on Project Build Constructions Google profile and Yelp giving them a reputation boost, which helps them appear in front of more customers in their service area searching for home contractors. Project Build did a great job on my bathroom remodel. I will recommend them to anyone in Orange County. That was the review that they're going over over here. The owner told me they do everything from kitchens to roofs. Ron wrote one happy customer in a Google review of the contractor. The, that customer went on a step further, posting an image of the company's work with the caption, check out the photo of my new shower. And I do that a lot whenever I, I go to a new place. Uh, I take pictures, videos, and I upload I. I upload it to everywhere I can and to provide every view everywhere I can. Um, you know, either be Yelp, uh, Google, um, Facebook, if they have a Facebook page, etc. Right? I do that to help that business, local business, um, because I know the importance of all this. In response to that, if I like the location, of course. In response to that glowing review, Project Build Constructions made a smart move, both for their customer service and their search ranking, to owner posted a reply. The owner posted a reply. Thank you for the review. It was a pleasure working on your home. I'm glad you love your new bathroom. That's how you build a positive online reputation and keep customer happy. You show your appreciation for the feedback, good or bad, and demonstrate your willingness to address concerns when reviews are negative. This is a principle that will serve your business well on Google Maps across the web and in the real world. Plus, um, if it's constructive critical feedback 
uh, we should not be feel emotional emotional about it, right? Think about step back for a little bit. Why did the customer say that thing? Are there are they actually have a uh, are they actually uh, right in what they were saying, right? That help us uh, learn from our own customers, giving them our feedback about stuff that we can improve in our business. And obviously, it's always good to improve a, uh, about our own business. We don't want to be stagnated. We don't want to be stuck. We want to make sure to actually continue to listen to our customers because they actually give, can give us great idea to improve them, to improve uh, our services or product. Um, uh, obviously, there are some things that are totally inappropriate and some other ones that are totally not useful at all, right? Like putting some, some, someone once in a while saying your food tasted like cardboard but then everybody else saying it's delicious, then it's kind of out of context. I don't, I don't really have much information, right? You could try reaching out to that person directly and say, hey, uh, I would like to treat you to a meal and if you come willing to come and talk to me a little more about how you feel that way, right? Uh, a lot of the times they probably won't do it because probably they were just having a bad day and decided to leave something like that. Like I say, that doesn't tell you much. Um, so obviously don't pay attention to all of it, but yeah, definitely keep keep an eye on what's going on because if things are, for example, repetitive, like keep things, people keep saying the same things, like for example, it's too salty, uh, and that's constantly being repeated over and over and over and over again, obviously that's something you want to pay attention. And then, okay, so how to optimize your Google Maps profile. You can push your Google Maps presence higher by optimizing your Google My Business listing optimizing isn't as intimidated as it sounds. It just means that when completing your Google, Google My Business profile, you should be throw, throw is that how you say it? Throw out <laughs> and use descriptive keywords to describe your products and services. Um, so the most important sections to throw thoroughly complete and to enhance to enhance and push your maps presence higher are complete all your contact informations, locations, and hours. Do not leave any sections blank. Very obvious, right? You may add up to 10 categories to your business profile, including one primary category. Use all 10 Google's uses these as keywords to match local searches within business nearby. Obviously, you want to be um, very strategic about these categories, right? You don't want to be, let's say you are a restaurant. You don't want to be put in a restaurant and, and, and as a category and also using um, uh, a local tool shop or a gas station or using a haircut, right? <laughs> that doesn't make sense at all. As a matter of fact, uh, if you think that um, that's going to help you, Actually, that's going to hurt you because Google is going to be, okay, I'm looking for haircut and then uh, your result, your your business comes up in the search results. Uh, that creates a bad experience for the customer, right? People are going to ignore it or they may, I don't know if they can um, report that, but Google takes a lot of things into consideration. Like, for example, if you appear in the top as a restaurant and people were looking for a haircut, uh, and they go by, they ignore it, then Google obviously sees that and, and for the next time they know that, okay, when somebody searched for a haircut, they ignore it for a reason. Let's see if that continues to happen. And so you say, let's say you, many times you appear on top for a haircut and that continues to happen, Google's going to penalize you, right? And, and, and the next time, even if they search for a restaurant, uh, you may not even appear because of that, that, that things that you heard in the customer experience that you're providing is bad. Um, so yeah, let's be strategic, strategic about how we use the categories, uh, other things you may want to take into consideration. Like for example, you are a sushi restaurant, right? Japanese sushi restaurant. Um, you can think do things like Japanese steakhouse, Japanese restaurant, Japanese noodle, right? If you have noodles, um, Asian, restaurant right um, stuff like that but you won't go and be like put in category of Mexican restaurant or um, 
in Indian restaurant or something like that, right? You wouldn't that that wouldn't make sense. It will create a bad experience as well for for the customers. Um, upload a, at least 10 photos of your business, including inside, outside, and uh, in action and staff photos. Your ranking is substantially increased once you have at least 10 photos. Similar to photos, businesses with at least 10 reviews will rank substantially higher in maps. If you do not have many reviews now, start asking your customers to leave reviews as soon as they have purchased from you while they are happy and is top of mind. One thing that I think is critical for this is to you continue to do this and at the same time train your staff to do this. You can do different stuff, right? You can have a um, something in there in your restaurant or your business, uh, some type of paper or ad flyer that says visit us on, uh, on Facebook or Yelp or wherever you want people to leave your views, right, on Google. Um, and that's going to help you to make, make people aware. And then obviously you yourself and your staff could be like, hey, please help us on, uh, please help us. If you like our food, please go into Google uh, on Yelp and help us by leaving a review. That would mean so much to us. Um uh, or, or something like that, right? Or if you feel bad about saying something that directly about leaving reviews, you can be like, hey, please follow us on Facebook or, or Yelp and check us out, uh, see what you think, right? Stuff like that. Um, let me keep added that businesses who complete the above four steps for each of their locations consistently see much higher ranking and traffic from Google Maps and search results in general. So uh, that was a long, long, long um, uh, video, but it was important to cover everything that needs to, you need to know about Google Maps for small businesses. Uh, if that information was helpful, I uh, appreciate it. If you can please share it with somebody else that may need it. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it below. If you have any feedback for me, leave a comment below. Um, a question that I have for you is uh, how do you use uh, Google you how do you how do you list your business online right what places do you list your business online let us know perhaps you may have something uh, um, uh, a place listed online that uh, we don't know yet so that'd be great to for you to recommend us what other places you have your business listed uh, online all right so hope that helps um, again you can reach you can Google Leo Callejas if you have a question find me on social media I'm on Instagram, Yelp, <laughs> I'm on Instagram, uh, Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, uh, YouTube, etc. And you can visit my website, digitaltrack.co. You can call me or text me at 707-410-0307. All right, have a good one. Bye.